This is the Education Center at the Manitoba Liquor Mart, Madison Square location. And uh, this is Heather Dybart from the Manitoba Mushroom Growers Association. And this is our third recipe of the day, and I'm liking this big time. Yes, yes. No, you can smell everything that's cooking. I sure can. Uh, the last recipe that we're going to make today is called Farfalli Pasta with sautéed mushrooms and thyme. And what we've already done is started to sauté our mushrooms. So we'll just turn this up a bit more and get that going. And what I've got here is some canola oil and butter. And it's a variety of mushrooms. And in this particular recipe, I've used white and cremini. But you could, by all means, use the portabella, um, shiitake, uh, or the oyster, just for a variety for some of those adventurous folks. Whichever ones you like. Yeah. And again, the cremini is the darker one, and it gives a really nice earthy flavor. Um, the other thing I'd like to mention right now is that the mushrooms are an excellent source of vitamin D. They have found that through research, they are the only fruit or vegetable that has naturally occurring vitamin D. Well, how about that? Yeah, so again, they're a very, very healthy vegetable uh, for you to have in your diet. And you put in a little bit of garlic, a little bit of green onion? Yes, and then the the, about a pound of mushrooms. And this is about the classic recipe, I think, for cooking mushrooms. Mm. For most dishes. Yes. And I also agree you have to have a little bit of butter, I think, yes. when you're cooking. The flavor is shrooms. just wonderful. So at this point, these have been cooking for about five minutes, and we're going to put them off into a bowl. So okay. I might just get you Should to... Should we do that now? Yep. Yep. The hot mushrooms can go into the bowl. And then what we're going to do is we're going to, in the same fry pan, so again, this is a very quick and easy recipe, we're going to make the sauce for the farfalle pasta. Keep this at medium? Yeah, keep it at medium. And now the sauce is uh, one and a quarter cups of chicken broth. So we're just gonna add that right in. That won't take long to warm up. No. Nope. And a half a cup of uh, half and half cream. Oh. Yeah, so it's gonna give us a bit of thickness. So again, we've cut the cream by using some chicken broth. So again, uh, nice, uh, heart healthy. And as well, a bit of lemon juice. So we might use the same spoon. Just We want to just heat this and just to move it around and get the bits of the mushroom and the flavor from the mushroom oh, juices the skillet, yeah. and the thyme. So we've got a teaspoon of thyme and you can use dried or fresh and it's a teaspoon. And thyme and mushrooms go wonderful together. Yeah. So you can use that. So again, that just gets heated um, Is until that it? that's it. Yeah, that's a very simple sauce. Yeah, well, you weren't kidding, I yeah. guess. Yeah, and so into the pot that uh, originally you cook your pasta, drain it, let it uh, sit covered so it stays warm. And I just wanted to mention that it is uh, called farfalle or bow tie pasta or bows. And when you uh, shop for it, depending on the package, you may see the word bows. This is a medium size. There is small and large, but I like this particular size because uh, it actually holds the flavor and it holds the sauce, sauce in the yeah. crevices. Yeah. So now at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to put the mushrooms into the pasta pot. Yeah, again, with we're the using, juices, yeah, you want all we're those using juices. all the same pot again. And then the cream sauce goes into onto it as well. So we're going to put the fry pan, all that sauce is going to get poured on top. Making you do all the work. That's all right. <laughs> and that now gets oh. stirred up. And the last couple of ingredients to go into this is some Parmesan cheese, of course. You always need some nice cheese. So we're just going to sprinkle a bit of that. I'll leave some for topping. Sprinkle that in, and that melts from all the heat from the mushrooms and the nice cream sauce. And then for a nice color, we've got a bit of parsley just to go in as well to give it a nice color. If you wanted, you could even yeah. sprinkle that on top of each of the individual yes, dishes. definitely, yes. Yeah, the cheese mixing it in though, yep. that's a great idea. Yeah, and it oh. all, again, two pots is all you need, and you can even, you know, serve it individually out of this and oh. just garnish each Man, with fresh Parmesan great. cheese. Yes. Outstanding. Mushrooms Outstanding. make it.